Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm expecting my friend Onyi. She is the one who runs the channel Muta Igbo, where she teaches you how to speak Igbo. I'm going to do a filming for the events of it thing. I asked my friends on Instagram to tell me what to wear to various events. We're going to do that. After that, we'll do a filming for her video. We're going to be just dancing to evil artists in Ivy Park. <laughs> so that's what it's going to be really. Yeah, come along and um, let's have a good time. Please subscribe if you haven't. Click the bell right beside the subscribe button so you get notifications every time I post. Cheers! Welcome back to my channel. I am Bo Onyinye. My name is Onyinye. This is my friend Metro Gypsy. <laughs> I am the Metro Gypsy. My name is Metro Gypsy. Yeah, Metro Gypsy is a London-based lifestyle content creator. So go and check out her channel on Metro Gyp called Metro Gypsy on YouTube <coughs> and Instagram. So ta ta today because I'm going to be introducing the good dance moves and just vibing out it. When are you go ready? I am you go ready. Let's go. Okay, okay, no cap. Okay, okay, okay. Dancing, it's not easy. So we want these beads. Oh, but does it dance? Jeez, man, I'm not fit. Hey. <sighs> Anywho, I think we've done three songs now, so we have two left or more. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> she's gone now we are done filming everything we literally made two videos for her channel we did like dancing evil songs and stuff like that and do because there were like six different dances i think she's not monetized so she doesn't really care about copyright like it would be a strike yeah so three songs each and guys it was so much fun it's amazing how like she just dropped her kids at school came create her concerns going to make lunch for them that's the modern day life so i just remember that um i haven't uploaded a video i want to publish today it's on my laptop but it's not on youtube yet but it's a really short video it's just six minutes something stuff to do in london in christmas shopping arcades and stuff like that yeah so we have really pretty ones in london and i would like to share with you guys just in case you come to london and you want to do something that is not like um money sapping you know you just go look at beautiful stores like traditional british stores in most of the arcades here but they are so pleasant to look at Yes, I'm just looking at my blog now because I did a blog post for it as well. I don't know why this blog is looking so in my face. <sighs> I need to go customize it. Anyway, this is the um, video. This is my favorite arcade in London. It's called the Royal Arcade. That is me. And I took a picture there. Found someone who was in love as well. And then we did it together. So yeah, this is brilliant thing. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, <laughs> my blog is metrogypsy.org. Oh yeah, this is fun. This is Fort Norman Mason. It's such a pretty store in Christmas. They decorate it so beautifully. I put some stuff on my Instagram self. I put some stuff on my Instagram about the window decor right now. So beautiful. They went back to um, beyond the years of how they celebrated Christmas and it was just nice. I just love the way the British people embrace their tradition. You know, no matter how obscene you might think it is, it's just, it's just beautiful yeah so that's going to go up now and i'll go back yeah i've taken my makeup off and i'll go back to fix the room i haven't fixed it. i just remembered that this should be up at least um scheduled for 
five thirty our time. I'm making dinner now. Just trying to cut some vegetables. Um, um, cooking porridge. Yum. I'm going to add some chicken in. That's good meat too, but I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll just eat that one. <laughs> so I'll just put some roast chicken in it when it's almost ready. Cutting this spinach now. Watching Hilo Lux on YouTube. I'll probably go and watch some more people before I'm done with the kitchen and then go on the TV and keep watching Laifa. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, just updates. Um, the next thing you see will be me eating, to be honest, in the living room. Guys, am I the only one that eats such weird food combinations? So this is chicken as I told you, the goat meats, two of them there. <laughs> I have ketchup, um, a glass of Moscato and my water cup. A little water, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, what's the weirdest food combination you've ever had? I eat the weirdest things a lot of times. I also like eating remnants because to be honest, I don't like wasting. So I know how to just gather all the remnants, warm it up, make it like tasty if it wasn't hot enough and pepper and things like that i've finished eating my food and on instagram and i'm watching this video now guys this video is one of the best videos i've watched in a while i'm sure a lot of you are subscribed to her and i tend to like when people bring their husbands and they're making points like when they look but her husband not this last one the time before i really loved that video it was so funny but this one is so so dope like it's also really great so if you guys watch omabel tv make sure you watch this um, particular episode if you don't watch just try make sure you watch this particular episode hubby's on his way he's been using this little heat in here but i'll put on a big one now and just leave the house really warm because it's just nice when you come into your house and it feels cozy i really like the video let me get some tea you see guys. my favorite shabo is one of like top like I literally buy it every time I go out and then look at what I brought This was a prop I was using to film. Oh my gosh I, I want to do like you know how you think of a caption and then you now bring the prop for it So the caption I was thinking of is turning a new leaf <laughs> So I just held the leaf like I'm sure it looks stupid, but yeah, I've never looked at the content today I need to start deleting because you guys deleting is another task because every time I take pictures I'll take like one million my Camera will not be like 4,000 something. Start deleting, deleting, deleting. So I'm going to delete a lot. Yeah, someone just texted me on Instagram. She loved my picture today and then she wants to come and make some pictures in London. And guys, this is my birthday mate as well. So I'm going to be seeing my birthday mate. We want to do December 5th, Shabba. I told her, no more, that'll be late for your Christmas content. So we're going to see this weekend on Sunday. Yeah, so Sunday, I'm shooting some content. If this, uh, this vlog will come out by then. <laughs> but yeah, sure, this vlog will come out after then. So maybe I would even add that to this video, you know, just so that there'll be spies. In fact, let me stop filming now so this video doesn't get too long. Once Hubby comes back, I'll close it for the day. Last time I didn't vlog again. Um, I've actually been fine. It's just that when he came back, um, there was just nothing. We had dinner, she would watch TV and stuff. And then yesterday, you guys saw me filming like crazy on Saturday. Did pictures with Oyingi. We did videos for her, for her channel. And then she left. I found out that the pictures were here to like a lot of them were cutting my head. You know how the iPhone is that like the parts top part is kind of grey, you think it's showing but it's not. Anywho, I didn't even tell her I just slept on it to woke up and I wasn't feeling good. I was thinking maybe I'll just remove the background and put myself in another room where it was not even looking nice. So I just woke up, shot everything again. There were nine looks, I shot seven because the Ivy Park one I already had pictures in the pieces I used for that video. So yeah, that was it. Um, my trip yesterday, I was really productive, finished everything, then I had um, sales on Amina, so I went to the post office like later in the evening, obviously had the meals and came back home. So I must say I tried to get myself ready for Vlogmas, I got my camera out, put the video I was going to do, so just literally trying to put the video into my phone and then laptop was just being slow. Normally when my laptop is being slow, I restart or force quit everything and shut down. So I restarted, guys. This is the now I've come back. Can just look at this. This thing has happened before. It's called the black screen or the black death or something. It happens to 
her book uh, um, tour went online people just kept talking about this new um upgrade how uh, apple will still charge you like it was just i <laughs> woke up put the hdmi you know how i used to watch big brother on my tv connected it just in case like maybe the laptop was actually something was going on behind let me not see on the tv no more we're just in black screen so i kind of i've gotten over it now the annoying thing is that she has some videos on a lot of i don't know how to like access but good thing a lot of the videos are still on my memory card and the london walk videos those ones are already on the hard drive so yeah i'm just gonna keep it moving like i'll just <laughs> not make it get to me too much once the lockdown is over i'll take it to Adam court there's this guy who i know does real life i've sent my friends to him he does it well and he won't charge you apple price so i'll go there once lockdown is over with the laptop to see that's if it doesn't come on god knows it might still come on by the time you start doing all those hard resets um, PR control, like so many pressings are pressed because 2015 MacBook Pro 13 inches. Yeah, so that's it. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Just click the notification bell. And yeah, the next video is definitely going to be up big. Yeah, I'm going out to London to just explore Christmas stuff and I'll bring you guys so much joy in that video. Thank you so much for watching this one. I'll see you on the next episode. Let's put yourself first, be happy.